I guess you wonder where I've been. I search to find a love with them. I came back to let you know. Got a thing for y'all, and I can't let go of it. I search to find a love with them. I came back to let you know. Got a thing for y'all, and I can't let go What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You ain't a dirty shit. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. But I did. All right. What's up? What's up? Lockout men back. Yes, sir. Now that I got you guys' attention, yo, check this out, man. I, I, I saw this video where this young lady says that she only drives during the day. She can't do no night driving. No night driving. She tells the, the fleet manager that, that you know, she can't drive night. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. It's that truck and BS everybody was talking about. I've been here at the shipper's office since 2 o'clock, and I'm just now getting loaded. And now it's so dark. Can't see nothing. And they know good and well I don't drive at night because I can't see. That's why I do all my loads. I do all my deliveries in the daytime. I get everything done in the daytime and I shut down at night because once that sun goes down, I feel like if I can't see the road, I have no business being on it, especially with an 80,000 pound vehicle. So once the sun goes down, I shut down. And now I'm still sitting here at the shipper's office and I'm just now getting loaded and it's dark as can be. This is some BS. I've been here since two o'clock, five hours I've been sitting here. I'm frustrated, y'all. This Every single day, I want to quit trucking. And I just started like two months ago. I've had my CDLs for about five months now. Been driving for two months. Good thing I kept my job at the hospital, just in case this didn't work out. Because right now, it's looking like I'm going back. Look at here, young lady. You in the wrong business. The wrong business. Trucking is a 24-hour gig, yo. Especially if you're running reefer. You know, half of them reefer loads that you be taking... They can only be delivered at night because when you take it to those like grocery store places, grocery store distributions and all like that, their own trucks is being loaded during the day. So in order to load over the road trucks, guess what? You're going to have to do it overnight. <laughs> You're going to have to do it overnight. So if this job is much of a burden on you for you to drive nights i suggest you get another job okay not not if you want to stay in the industry find a job a trucking job that's sorely for the day because if you get with them reefer companies or or over the road companies i guarantee you nine times out of ten one of those loads is going to have to be delivered at night i'm just saying with that said, here's seven things to know about nighttime driving. You know, I know you guys love being on an empty highway sometimes, but a lot of you guys are like day walkers. All y'all want to do is drive during the day, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, it's especially on depending on what you haul. I guarantee you, once again, if you haul those groceries loads, your routine your nighttime routine which is sleep is going to be sorely interrupted number one your natural body rhythm is going to be in a mess it is your energy your alertness all of that is going to drop when you drive at night but on the upside of that when you continuously drive at night like i do i mean i'm used to it now but when you continually drive through the night eventually your body will get used to it they say drink some caffeine drink some energy drinks but you might want to you, you might want to just let the window down a little bit hit that podcast turn up the music you know to get engaged and all like that but you got to stay focused though anything to keep you engaged and focused all right okay number two your visibility is going to be weakened 
fog, rain, snow, anything will down your visibility, which will make it another issue during the night. All right. It's going to be that issue. It's going to be tough, but <laughs> it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? You should leave yourself a lot of extra space when you're driving at night. Uh, normal distance that you would do during the day, kind of extend that during the night. All right. Traffic, though. Number three, traffic is lighter. <laughs> It feels like when you're driving through the night, when you don't have that much traffic, you don't have DOT, you don't have every trooper on every stop. You don't have to worry about all of that. It is lighter, which kind of makes it feels a little bit quicker. Like if you start at midnight, next thing you know, it's already three o'clock. Next thing you know, it's already six o'clock. Next thing you know, you're already at your delivery. Next thing you know, you're, you're at a truck stop where you can get some parking. There's no problems with parking when you're driving at night. I'm just saying. Deliveries, though. Number four can be a little bit more dangerous than normal. Because especially if you're going into places that you're not familiar with. Now, distribution centers, not so much, but... For like little areas that can only take you at night and you're not familiar with that, you might want to be a little bit more alert. You know what I'm saying? Always stay alert. Take precaution. You know what I'm saying? Be aware. Keep your head on a swivel. You know, use Google Maps as your, as, as your pre-trip. Well, as your trip plan. So you know exactly where you going and what area is in? you're on your own number five yes your main dispatcher he's at home sleep he's at home dreaming he's at home not worrying about nothing you on the other hand is worried about everything you get to you you get to your delivery and boom something happens then you have to rely on nighttime dispatch which sucks sucks okay sucks that's all i have to say about that let's move on parking number six like i said after you make your delivery after you drove through the night parking is a breeze there's plenty of parking spots for you to post up close your windows get about five six seven eight hours of sleep you're good to go and number seven last but not least you should always keep your windshield, your mirrors, and your windows always clean. Because these truck drivers out here, even though they supposed to be cool, but they could be assholes. They can have on their high beams. Some of them got those bat lights that they like to flash in your damn eyes. As long as you keep your windshield and your mirrors clean, you should not have any problems all right all right that's your seven things from lockout men drivers that's my thoughts tell me yours in the comments below there's something in the air tonight got a feeling coming over me i swear that this is that place to be in the water in the, the water in the water